If you are looking to build an affiliate marketing business, but you've been struggling to make consistent profits online, then you need to watch this. Hi, my name is Naresh K. And if this is your first time watching any video of mine or on my channel, then I'd like to welcome you. I often post videos with tips and tricks and learnings that I picked up over the years as an affiliate marketer. So if that's the sort of thing that you're interested in, then please click the like and the subscribe button below this video so that you can get notified every time I upload a new video, right? With that, let's get back to this question. Why do so many affiliate marketers have a problem making a consistent income online? So affiliate marketing, as you all know, is an is a wonderful opportunity. It's It was a $12 billion industry in 2020. It's $16 billion in 2021 across the globe. And uh, it's only projected to grow, uh, you know, even more, right? And uh, there are amazing advantages to this model, as I'm sure you're aware of, since you're already in, interested in affiliate marketing. You don't have to worry about product creation, about order fulfillment, about, uh, you know, a whole lot of other issues that, you know, product creators have to worry about. You've already got a ready-made product. All you have to do is to drive traffic. And that's a great advantage. In that case, it's still, therefore, a puzzle as to why so many affiliate marketers fail, right? Because there was a recent research done and what it showed was that more than 90% of all affiliate marketers fail and they fail within the first four months. And in fact, the number is probably much higher. It's somewhere close to 95 or something. But there, it does see a very high rate of failure. And I should know because I myself was one of them, right? In the beginning stages, I have failed, I mean, not once, but probably many times. And the reason, the one of the most important reasons, one of the most important factors as to why people fail as affiliate marketers is that they are unable to make a consistent income online. And there is one particular factor, one particular reason at the heart of this. Before we get to that reason, however, it is important to first understand what are the different stages that affiliate marketing has gone through, right? So let's just quickly go through the three, you know, there have, there have been four stages actually. Right now we are in the fourth stage, but there have been three stages before this, three phases before this. And uh, we'll just quickly go through each of these four phases because it's critical to understand that, right? The first phase of affiliate marketing, which I call affiliate marketing level one, was the simplest one. This is where it all began. It just involved you as an affiliate marketer sending traffic to an offer. And if you made sales, you made a commission. And this was the simplest model of all, right? So you just send traffic to a page, one or two percent converted, and you made commissions. And in the initial days, this worked like gangbusters. It was crazy because, uh, you know, a lot of people actually made a lot of money. It was the simplest thing that you could do. And it was actually possible to make a lot of money. But over the years, this has become more and more difficult. In fact, to the point where today it is not viable as a business model. And the reasons are simply this that this model, because it's so simple, depends on only two things. It depends on the cost of traffic and it depends on the number of sales you make, right? Now, both of these have changed over the years. The cost of traffic has grown up dramatically. Today, it's like five to six times the cost of traffic that it was when we started off, right? But on the other hand, one, the commissions themselves have not gone up that much because so much competition has come in that people are now undercutting each other on price. So it's pretty much where it, where, where it was many years ago, right? You still say, you know, uh, $10 products, $17 products. That's pretty much where things are. And the second part is conversions have come down because people have grown wise over the years. They've grown more seasoned as customers and they know that there's a lot of mediocrity and garbage out there. So now they are far more circumspect about what they spend their money on. They're far more careful about what they spend their money on. So this model just doesn't work anymore, right? The second model or the second level was this, where you still send traffic, but before you sent it to the sales page, you first sent it to something called an opt-in page. And the thinking behind it was, look, anyway, if you're going to you know, spend all that effort and money in actually getting customers uh, and sending them somewhere, then you might as well capture those leads because now you know that there are all these people who are at least interested in the topic that you're promoting, in the subject that you're dealing with, in the niche that you are in. So it makes sense to capture those leads so that you can approach them later on uh, if required, right? So, the, you know, this you first send them to an opt-in page before you send them to the offer. 
Now the leads that you capture in the opt-in page go on to something called an autoresponder, which is like a repository of all the different email IDs. And uh, you can now reach out to them because you have that email database with you. You can reach out to them with various messages and keep sending them back to either this offer or once this offer is over, if there are other offers that come up, they are there for you to reach out to. You have a pool of people who are interested in the topic and you can actually reach out to them. So this was definitely a step above the first model. But even this has now run its course and even this by itself is not going to be enough anymore if this is all the model is, right? And the main reason for this is that everybody started doing this. So a normal customer or a prospect is now on maybe 20 different lists, maybe 100 different lists, right? So there is a barrage of emails coming in. And out of all those people, the biggest factor is very few of those people actually provide true value. Very few of those marketers who capture email IDs actually provide true value. Most people just use you use these, uh, you know, these names as some sort of uh, a target where they keep bombarding them with one after uh, offer after the other, one after uh, offer after the other, right? And over a period of time, people just get tired and they stop, you know, uh, opening your emails or they even uns unsubscribe from these email lists. And so the open rates have come down, click rates have come down. So overall, this itself has also stopped working. Now, the difference between and uh, you make a commission, as we said. Now, the difference between the first one and the second one was that the first one, each customer that you would you, you were able to kind of uh, reach out to, you would send them to one particular offer. And for the next offer, you had to find out a different customer. In this case, since you already have the database of customers, you could approach the same customer and give them many different offers. You can target them with many different offers. So that way, it was that was the only difference, right? Now, the third level was born out of realization that look, if you're going to send a person to a particular sales page, then we should really try and get as much value out of that one particular prospect as possible, right? So there is still you sending traffic, uh, but instead of just sending it to an opt-in page and then there on to uh, you know, a sales page and also to capture those leads, you put them through what is called a sales funnel, right? And the thinking is actually definitely much more evolved from there because the thinking is that if you send them to an opt-in page, capture the leads, and then you send them to something called a bridge page where you actually warm up the prospect before you send them to a funnel. Now the funnel, the whole idea of a funnel is to take your customer step by step through various stages. So there is something called a tripwire in the beginning where something uh, is offered to the customer for a ridiculously low price and offering a ridiculous amount of value for that price so that it becomes almost uh, irresistible for that customer, right? So they, you know, when they end up buying that and then they go along the funnel, then there are other offerings along the funnel before the transaction is completed, right? These are called one-time offers and, you know, you might have experienced this yourself that when you click on something and suddenly something else comes up and say, hey, wait a minute, there's something that is going to be, you know, uh, it's going to be uh, valid only for the next half an hour or only on this particular page. So, you know, and then there's something of a higher value that is offered to you. And if you don't like that particular offer of a higher value, then a slightly scaled down version of that, of, of that particular offering is given to you. So there is something called an upsell and then there's something called a downsell, right? So an upsell is that high value product and downsell is a scaled down value uh, version of that high value product. And so you have maybe two upsells, maybe three upsells, each with a particular downsell. And many people, when they end up going through the funnel, do end up off, you know, buying a few more of these other things so that the average order value of a particular customer goes up and it is maximized, right? So, and then they go back to the list and then similarly, the next time they are now sent to another funnel and then to a third funnel and so on and so forth. So again, this time it's the same customer who is being sent to not just many different products, but to many different funnels, right? So this was affiliate marketing stage three. The problem with all of these is that if you look at it and consider it closely, going by what I've just said, these are all hunt and kill methods, right? Every time if it's a new offer, it's a new process of convincing that person or, you know, uh, you know, pitching that, you know, sales, sales pitch to that person. And every time, even if it's the same person, that person has to go through the same, you know, process over and over and over again. You have to take the same person through the process over and over again for different products, different funnels. And over a period of time, the customer 
will just lose interest because nobody likes to be pitched all the time, right? And it's, it's a, like a hamster on a wheel. You keep running and you keep running because every time it's a new pitch. So how does one make predictable profits? How can one be predictably profit, profitable in this scenario? And the answer to that is the single factor that I was talking about, which is recurring commissions. Recurring commissions is actually the holy grail of not just affiliate marketing, but actually all marketing. This seems to be the paradigm towards which most big, huge marketers are all heading towards, no matter what business they're in. I mean, would you imagine a company like GoPro, which actually makes cameras, which is as hardware as it can get. They have now moved to a subscription model where they are offering uh, a certain service for a certain, you know, small monthly amount, like $5, $4.99 a month. Uh, they are offering GoPro customers the ability to get some space on the cloud so that whatever pictures they take automatically gets uploaded to the cloud. Now it's a subscription model. And by the way, there's a link above here where I've, you know, there's a separate uh, video I've made on the subscription model in greater detail. You might want to check that out. It's, it's, it's a really interesting subject, right? But GoPro today makes 41% of its revenue from its subscription model, right? Similarly, Gillette is shaving uh, company shaving razor blades and you know uh, that kind of a company has also moved to a subscription model. Apple has moved to a subscription model not only for its services in terms of Apple TV and other that but even for Apple phones. Now they are giving you phones for use on a per month basis. So most large companies across the world have recognized the power of a subscription model and that's where they are moving and this is really where the current paradigm in fact the future paradigm of affiliate marketing also is. Yeah? because this is the foundation of affiliate marketing success. When you have predictable income coming in every year, you make one sale and that one person becomes a re repeated, uh, you know, predictable source of revenue for you for years to come. For, you know, that's when you actually have a certain amount of stability in the business and then you can actually build on that, right? So. What, you can, what this allows you to do is it allows you to maximize the profit per customer, which is the LCV or the long-term customer, lifetime customer value. Uh, that we, uh, you know, that's what we mean by LCV. So it allows you to maximize that. It allows you to prolong the customer relationships because now that it's the customer is there for many, many, uh, you know, for a much longer period of time. It allows you the opportunity to provide more value and then to cement the relationship so that the customer doesn't go away anywhere else. It allows you to enhance customer value so that if the customer is there, then you can give him more and more value, him or her, and you can actually charge for some of the other value added products, right? Uh, and in doing so, you can create a sustainable business model because like I said, when you have a predictable revenue coming in, it allows you to breathe more easily, allows you to invest in certain things that you think are necessary for the growth of your business. And uh, you can do that because now you, have, you know that, you know, roughly I should be getting this income. So it allows you to plan things a little better. So this is really the single most important factor in order to make a predictable, consistent revenue as an affiliate marketer, right? Now, in, how do you do that? You do that by promoting services, uh, largely services, which are, you know, recurring commission based. For example, software as services, such as the kind of tools that are used, uh, that are required to build an online marketing business. Like, uh, like a funnel builder, like an email autoresponder, you know, uh, and these kinds of, there are many services that, you know, any online market is going to need as at an ongoing basis. There are certain softwares that they're going to use. So these are all subscription based. And if you can become an affiliate for those and you promote it to those people, you've got a recurring steady source of revenue for you. But having said that, it's not always easy to go out and say, because, you know, at the end of the day, it's still a pitch. I mean, if you land that person, that's great, but it's still a pitch. And it's not always easy to go out and say, hey, please use Aweber for, uh, you know, uh, for email marketing because it's, you can do that. Uh, but there is a much better way of doing that. And that is really where the affiliate marketing 4.0 system really lies. Okay, this is how it works. Affiliate marketing 4.0 takes recurring commissions as the basis but the way it delivers or the way it actually pitches itself and gets those uh, customers in is through something called an ecosystem approach. And the way it works is this. You have the same model as you had in the, you know, in the uh, affiliate market, uh, marketing phase three, uh, 3.0, which is there's an opt-in page, you put them through a funnel, tripwire, downsells, upsends, all of that, right? So that part is there anyway to begin with. 
But after having made the first transaction, you don't just send them back to an autoresponder and start pitching them all over again on the next funnel. What you do is, this is basically like a training. The tripwire is actually for some sort of a training. And after you've made the completed the transaction, you actually send them to a members area. And in the members area, you deliver training. And when that training is being delivered, through the process of delivering the training, you make it clear to those people that there are certain tools that you're going to need, there are certain services that you're going to need if you want to get the kind of results that you want to get. And not just in marketing, but it could be you know weight loss or whatever it is. But in order to get those results, there are going to be certain things that you're going to be needing. And if you get those, then that will actually enhance your results. That is what is being done throughout the training, right? Through every part of the training. And the, the way it works magically is because of one simple reason, which is that once the customer has moved into the training center, there is a shift in the mindset. Now he's not just, he or she is not just a customer or a prospect, right? When you're undergoing training and there's somebody teaching you or coaching you, you have subtly shifted into the mindset of a student. And so you're far more receptive to suggestions and recommendations being made by someone who's teaching you, right? And that is the power of the system. So when you have an ecosystem where people go through a funnel, they enter the members area, and then there are recommendations made, many of which are recurring commissions uh, products, which is what I call MSI, multiple streams of income. But then there are a number of other standalone products that can also be pitched to these people because they're going to be needing them. Now that one person becomes a steady source of revenue and that person also gets the full value of all that you can actually deliver to them, right? So this is how it works most powerfully for some of the most successful affiliate marketers. The only issue with that is that as a beginner, there are certain challenges, right? Number one, as a beginner, you don't have the authority or the expertise to actually be going out and doing training and expecting people to understand and actually receive that, right? Secondly, you don't have the setup and the systems like a members area and training and tracking codes and funnels and all of that is something that's going to take a certain amount of time, money and expertise over the years to set up properly, right? And as a beginner, you will not have that. And the third part is that there are actually many people out there who say, look, we've set up everything for you. All you need is send traffic to us, send us traffic and we'll give you the commission. Now you can do that. But the problem with that is that a lot of these people who do that, in fact, most people who do that only offer you commission on the front end, which is the tripwire, which is hardly $7 or $10. And they'll offer you something like a $5 or a $7. Even if it's a $100 commission, the maximum you can make is $10. And then they take it over at the back end and make all the money there. That's the first issue. And the second issue is that when they do that, you don't build any business because you've sent your traffic, they've captured the leads, they've kept the leads, but you don't have access to that opt-in page. And so you have not built up your list or your systems. You've not built up your business. You're still operating in the hunt and kill method, right? So what you really need is a, a, you know, an approach that gives you, that lets you leverage the authority and expertise of an established marketer that allows you access to their setup and their systems, and that gives you full support, all that is required in order to build up your own business, right? So leverage, access, and support is really what an ideal program should offer. And this is what the program that I'm about to share with you really offers in abundance, okay? This program is started by somebody called Wayne Crow. Now, Wayne has been around for about many years now. It's almost 15 years, 14, 15 years since he's been around. He's made over $15 million since then. In fact, it may probably be more. He's set up a wonderful system called the OLSP Academy, uh, which actually takes care of all the facts that we had uh, discussed earlier, right? So what is OLSP? I mean, OLSP is a weird sounding name, right? So what exactly is it? Basically, it stands for One Lead System Pixel, which is a very technical kind of sounding name. But there's a reason why it's been named because that's the way it functions. I'll share that with you in a minute. It is a fully built out learning ecosystem that you can leverage to make commissions and build your own business at the same time as we discussed earlier. And the way it works is that in the beginning, there is a funnel that he's built out what he calls a mega funnel. And you send people into that mega funnel and then they are taken to this training area or the members area that we had shown you earlier. 
And in the training area, there are a lot of other uh, recommendations and suggestions that are made uh, in terms of tools and services that they're going to need in order to make this, uh, you know, the system work. They're not mandatory. You can work without them, by the way. Let me just be clear. But they're presented as opportunities for you to pick up if, in case you want to fast track your success there. And so it's a mix of recurring commission products and, you know, MSIs, multiple streams of income, other products uh, which are high ticket, mid ticket kind of products where you are remarketed those kinds of products and so on. And there are also live trainings that are being held uh, at regular intervals where Wayne brings on guests. And uh, in these live trainings at the end, obviously there is a sort of a pitch made or an offer that is being presented. And so people can either choose to pick it up or not pick it up. That is entirely their choice. The way this works is that whenever you bring somebody into the system, yeah, as an, as an affiliate or as a partner, when you bring somebody into the system, that person is cookied to you for life. And so for the rest of the lifetime of that customer within the OLSP system, whenever there's a purchase that that person makes or any sort of, uh, you, know, uh, you know, tool that he picks up or course that he picks up, you stand to make a commission out of it for the rest of the person's lifetime within the OLSP community. Okay? And it's a fully built out community with a lot of opportunities for that person to pick up stuff and for you to make commissions. So that's the beauty of this whole thing, right? Everything is done for you, including setting up your own business, right? So what are the highlights of OLSP Academy? The first is that the entry into the mega funnel is actually free. A lot of programs which are of similar kind actually, you know, uh, say that you have to pay a certain amount upfront in order to leverage that ecosystem. You don't have to pay that. You, the entry is uh, into the mega funnel is free. The entry into the whole ecosystem is free and you can become a partner for that for free without really having to pay an upfront you know, amount uh, you know, straight away. There are paid higher levels, however, which I should tell you. And uh, you know, if you pay a certain amount, you do get taken to a higher level called the dominator level where you stand to make more commissions or higher percentages of commissions and higher amounts as commissions. But it is not mandatory and even without that you can actually leverage the system to make commissions of your own, right? So it's free. The second thing is there is in-depth training. That members area that I was talking about, there are, there are five units of training there and they tell you everything about, you know, first of all, how to leverage the system to your complete advantage, teaching you all about the system itself. Then it also tells you, gives you training in terms of the best practices in affiliate marketing today, certain tools, how to drive traffic. And it's, it's very, very valuable and we're very well put together in depth training that every person goes through. So even for the training itself, it's, it's really, really valuable. Yeah. The third thing is, as I said, there's an amazing ecosystem with a deep product range. So when you enter the funnel itself, there are products and offerings over there, but then there are other tools that are recommended inside. There are recording commission tools. So you as a person, as, as a promoter of that, when you bring somebody into the system, there is a lot of opportunity for you to make money whenever the person that you brought in actually picks up anything from within the ecosystem, okay? Fourth is recurring commissions, as I've already said. Now, as I said, there are trainings. The way it works is that there are some training videos that Wayne has put out. And as part of the training, he then makes certain recommendations or he makes certain suggestions. And then below that immediately, there are links that one can click on and pick up if they follow the suggestion given by Wayne in his training video. But the beauty of the system is that below that training, the link that is there will automatically be your link. Yeah, because that person is cookie to you. So the training is given by Wayne, but when somebody acts on that suggestion and picks up uh, this thing through, your, through the link that is there, it's actually your link and you tend to make a commission out of it. So you've literally got Wayne on hire for you. This is one of the most important things. A lot of programs out there where, you know, uh, you read the testimonials and many of the testimonials, if you look carefully, are actually saying things like, oh, it was wonderful. The training was very nice. The coach was very good. And it was such a warm feeling. And Not too many people really talk about hardcore results. This community, you will find people who, have, who share hardcore results. They've made hard money. They've made hard cash. Some examples here, yeah? somebody, you know, and every time they do that, there is a congratulations message that is being put up. So somebody has reached a $30,000 uh, milestone, somebody has reached a $47,000 uh, 47, milestone, and so on and so forth. And every day in the Facebook group, there is a post that Wayne puts up where he shares, uh, you know, it's a congratulatory message for all the people who've made commissions 
in the in the recent past or in the you know in the previous day or the day before that right so massive congratulations to all the dominators who made these commissions and then there is a whole list and every day there's a list so clearly this is a community where a lot of people make a lot of money right and finally one of the most most uh, compelling arguments in its favor in my view is that unlike a lot of other systems which then tell you how, you know which give you some sort of a training for paid uh, facebook ads or paid google ads this focuses entirely almost entirely on free traffic methods and the focus is very high on free, free traffic methods they'll tell you to, how to uh, generate free traffic uh, you know through uh, either through facebook or through youtube or a whole lot of other channels because they recognize that people who come into that system are people who are just starting out and they may not always have the kind of money to blow up on or, or to spend on uh, you know uh, paid traffic to begin with paid traffic is great to scale up later on but in the beginning stages it's a bit of a challenge because it's a whole different expertise altogether and that can be quite a challenge so free traffic methods and a lot of emphasis and a lot of training on free traffic is given all the time that you're there right and there are systems for turbocharging them so if it's facebook if you get organic traffic from facebook they have some systems and mechanisms within olsp that you can leverage to actually turbocharge and to actually bring in organic traffic at a much faster rate uh, because they learn or they really know how the algorithm works and they have figured out ways to use or leverage the algorithm in their favor right now this is the program that i wanted to tell you about the question actually arises why should you join through my link now unlike a lot of other people who will then say look if you join through my link i'll give you 20 bonuses here's this course and there is that course i personally do not believe that that is really very beneficial to you firstly if i have to share anything with you i will share with you along the way uh, through links and so on uh, sorry through uh, emails and so on but to give you 20 courses at this point in time would really just be distracting you because you will not know which way to go so i really don't believe in doing that sort of a thing what i will tell you is that all along the way i will be sending you affiliate marketing training uh, you know uh, but the kind of training that is absolutely on point that you'll find totally relevant to what you're doing right now or what you're doing within the olsp academy or whether uh, or then to take it forward uh, not just general you know training from anywhere else I will also share with you some more free traffic methods. There are three other free traffic methods apart from what is being taught in OLSP that I will share with you. And again, recognizing what it takes to be an early stage marketer because it wasn't so long back that I was to be one of the early stage marketers. And I know that I always was challenged when it came to budget. So I will be sharing with you what I call shoestring budget options, yeah, which are a lot of other options. There will be some tool options that are given within OLSP. If you can afford them, please do pick them up. That's great. But if you cannot, I will have certain options for you that are equally effective and I will figure out ways in order to make them work for you. Uh, but then you can do it at a definitely at a much lower cost. Yeah. So that was all about OLSP. I really do think, as I said before, that this is one of the best programs out there for you to get into and to start making money and to really start getting those small wins or those medium sized wins so that you get your confidence back in the game. So do click on the link right below this. Join OLSP today with my link and I'll see you inside and I wish you all the best in your journey.